Hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to find the surface area of a hollow cylinder. Here is my prop that I'm going to use today. It's a hollow cylinder, a roll of paper towels, of course. I used it in a previous video to find the volume of a hollow cylinder, but today we will find the surface area. Now, let me try to sketch this for you. not perfect, but it will do. Okay, so we've got that inner tube inside of an outer tube, and I've measured it for you. The height of the roll of paper towels is 28 centimeters. The outer diameter is 14 centimeters, and the diameter of this smaller circle is 4 centimeters. Okay. Now let's talk about what surface area is. Surface area is the sum of all of the areas of the surfaces of a solid. Now here is our roll of paper towels. What surfaces do we have? We have an outer surface, an inner surface, and we have uh, a surface on each end. They are identical. They're called annuli. Each surface is an annulus. So we're going to find the area of each of the surfaces. Now to get the outer surface, I have kind of eyeballed this. So if I tear it, it will be one trip around the roll of paper towels. And so when I open up that roll, we have a rectangle. The outer shell is a rectangle. We need to find the area of it. Of course, the height is the same as the height of the roll of paper towels. And the, the width of this rectangle, we need a length and a width, uh, is the circumference. Because remember, it was once a circle. When we open it, we still have the same circumference. Uh, it is just now stretched out. So let me draw that for you. We have this rectangle. The height is 28 centimeters. And the, the width here is the circumference of that larger circle. Circumference is pi times the diameter. Or if we had a radius, it would be 2 pi times the radius. But we have a diameter, so our circumference is pi times 14, or 14 pi. Now again, the area of a rectangle is length times width, or perhaps uh, base times height is the way you might say it. And our base is 14 pi, and our height is 28. 14 times 28 is 392. So our area for this outer shell is 392 pi square centimeters. Area is always expressed in square units. So this is our outer shell, our outer shell. So that's one surface, but now we need the inner shell. So I have taken the tube out of a roll of paper towels and this is it. So when I open it, again, it is a rectangle of the same height as the paper towel roll. It's narrower, narrower than this one. So let's draw that. This is our inner shell. It's the same height, but it's narrower. Here's the height, 28 centimeters. And this time, the circumference, of course, is much smaller. Circumference is pi times the diameter which is pi times four centimeters, okay? So then we need to find the area of this small rectangle. Area is base times height, and that is four pi times 28, which is 112 pi square centimeters. So this is the inner shell. All right, so we have two areas that will be added so far. But that's not all. We still have each end of our paper towel roll. Each end is shaped like an annulus. Okay, here's an annulus. OK, 
Okay, an annulus is just the region between two concentric circles. Here is our annulus, and let me remind myself that there are two of these that we're gonna need. We need two of these, okay? Two of these. All right, how do you find the area of an annulus? Well, whenever we wanna find the area between two figures, we subtract the area of the inner from the area of the outer. So area of the outer minus area of the inner, okay? Now in this case, we're dealing with two circles, okay? The inner circle has radius two and the outer circle has radius seven. So they're both circles. So the area of our big circle is pi times, I'll say big R squared, pi times the big radius squared. And we need to subtract pi times the little radius squared, okay? So then that is pi times seven squared minus pi times two squared, 49 pi minus four pi, which is 45 pi square centimeters. But remember, we need two of these. So I'm just gonna double 45 pi. And for both of them, we have 90 pi square centimeters. So this is the third area that I'm gonna have to include to find the surface area of my solid, all right? So we have outer shell, inner shell, and each end, or both ends together, all right? Both ends together, rather. So. We're gonna sum them up. So the surface area, we're gonna calculate by adding the area of the outer shell plus the area of the inner shell plus the area of the two ends. Now remember, for the outer shell, we got 392 pi square centimeters the inner shell was 112 pi, and the ends totaled 90 pi square centimeters. Our total then for our roll of paper towels, the surface area is 594 pi square centimeters. There you have it. Now, some of you are, are, might like using formulas, so I would like to sum up what we did using a formula. Here's what we did. If you like formulas, we found the area of the outer shell, which was pi times the diameter times the height. I use a big D for the big diameter. We added pi times the little diameter times the height. And we added an annulus on each end, two annuli, pi big R squared minus pi little r squared, okay. So plugging in our numbers, we have pi times 14 times 28 plus pi times four times 28 plus two times, let's see, the big radius was seven and the little radius was two. And so when we simplify, we get the same numbers, 392 pi plus 112 pi plus 90 pi for a total of 594 pi square centimeters. That is the surface area so using the formula. It's the same thing really. So that is uh, our discussion. I hope it helps you. I hope it, that it helps you understand. Please like and subscribe. Uh, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.